we've seen over the past few years that Canadians care deeply, non-Indigenous Canadians care deeply about reconciliation. I mean, we can't be the country we like to pretend we are on the world stage, standing up for human rights, standing up for equality and opportunity and partnership and all the good things if we don't transform for the better uh, the relationship that has been broken for far too many generations and indeed centuries uh, with Indigenous peoples, with the First Peoples on our land. So uh, in the 2015 election, Canadians asked our government very clearly uh, to move forward in partnership and in reconciliation uh, with Indigenous peoples. And the government hadn't done a very good job over the past years of creating those partnerships. But you know who had in many cases? Uh, the mining industry. Uh, you all have been at the forefront of partnerships, of cooperation, of, of working together with Indigenous peoples. Uh, just you know, by dint of being so present in remote areas of Canada, uh, you've developed an ability to do that that has led to uh, 16,000 Indigenous peoples working in your industry, which is uh, among the, the, the top employers of Indigenous Canadians uh, across the country. Infrastructure investments uh, in remote, uh, remote parts of the country, in the north, uh, is are essential for those communities to th thrive. I mean, there's a lot of discussion of northern sovereignty over the over the over the recent years, with climate change making uh, our Canada's north and the Arctic more accessible to shipping and exploration. Well, sovereignty in the north and in remote areas has always passed not through you know who plants a flag or who stations scientists or even military. It happens through the people who've lived there for millennia. Uh, and supporting those communities with good schools, good roads, good jobs, good opportunities is key to actually being uh, the country that we want to be, where everyone has a real and a fair chance to succeed, regardless of where you are. And a big part of creating uh, that sense of success and resilience within a community comes through jobs. Uh, and you can't have a government you know, determine that this community is going to thrive and, you know, take care of just pumping in money, you need economic activity around that. And the natural resource sector is a natural place where we actually draw the value from uh, the minerals, from the land that is there. But if we're going to do it, we have to recognize that for far too many generations, it was done without the consent, without the participation, without any benefits flowing to uh, the people who known this land and lived on this land for, for from time immemorial.